What's going on, K-Slick family? Today, we're going to have a short video. It's on why men are no longer willing to waste their money. Back right after the end. Feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they want to go eat, then you know I'm going to feed them. If you okay, K-Slick family. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be discussing why men are no longer willing to waste their money on these entitled females. Let's just jump right into the video. So he invited you for coffee, you don't know what to say? Well, I would say coffee's cute, but I would prefer you take me to dinner because it would give us more time to get to know each other. Coffee's something I take when I'm running my errands and I'm not on air. A coffee date is not gonna stop you from getting to know someone when all you're gonna do is talk. Yo, she is a great finesse. She trying to get the most out the date on the first date. Babe, you are not a stop along the way. You are a destination. So someone said, what are your thoughts on coffee dates? And I'm just going to say, if you are a woman that you are very self-sufficient, very independent, no um, have all the basic life skills, like you cook, clean, take, pay your own bills, because this is normal human activities as an adult, because it basically says that you're operating at the level you should be. If you're dating uh, to find a partner of which you can merge with, right and you want commitment like you're really trying to get to know someone emotionally you're trying to do things the right way most guys are looking for wives they're not looking for partners that's why they go overseas and that's why they go to places like the philippines thailand colombia brazil etc you know like for love stop the cap do most guys do y'all agree with that will y'all go overseas just to find a wife I probably would, but 9 out of 10, I wouldn't because if I'm looking for a wife, I'm going to find her within somebody that has the same culture background as me, where I can have more to do with her. I don't speak the mother languages, so what are we going to talk about? You don't go on coffee dates. You don't. I don't get it. What is a big deal with a coffee date? And here's why I tell women, stop accepting these coffee dates, okay? Um, it's this, it's giving speed date, it's giving quick meet and greet. And a lot of women are putting in a lot of time and effort to get dressed up and, you know, take time away from their work and their regular routine to go meet up with someone to drink coffee of which you guys can make inside your kitchen and oftentimes if you have a job i'm pretty sure you had coffee for that day already here she go with that now she gonna say a meet and greet ain't that what a first day should really be about going someplace quiet where you could talk get to know each other i mean yeah you could do that on a dinner but at the end of the day why should i have to spend so much money on you in the beginning when i don't even know if i really want to be with you i don't even know what type of person you are intellectual or interacting with each other you might be on your phone all day so a coffee date will be a perfect date for the first date now if you want to do something after take a walk or whatever and get to know each other that's fine but she said coffee is something you could find in your house i could find food in my house too i could find a tv in my house too so what's your point I mean, you don't have a valid point, man. Sorry. Does it have to be coffee? No. There's so many things you can do on the first date. That's not going to cost you a lot of money. So my thing is, I never quite understood when men uh, suggest coffee dates because my thing is, if you want to go on a date, you should really be comfortable with this person that um, you're about to take on a date. You should want to take that person on a date. You should want to be able to invest your time in them. You should want to be able to go someplace where you can experience something good. The reason you go on a date is to get to know each other. At least that's the way it used to be. And I just don't see how that instant gratification of going to go do a quick meet and greet over coffee. Like how long can you actually sip coffee for? About an hour and a half. That's good enough. What are you gonna sip coffee for for two hours? And do you think that, think about the time it would take for a woman to get ready, right? It takes a woman about two hours to get ready. Now she's gonna go 
to a place and traveling might cause might take maybe 30 minutes to an hour right that's three hours of your time already to go sit down in a place to drink coffee which is also already in your house if she really likes you she'll go to mcdonald's with you i'm not trying to say that's what you should do but that's just the way it is now she said about two hours y'all and we know as men most men and most women once you want a relationship, it won't even take you two hours because sometimes you'll just come out with a bonnet on, some sweatpants on, or whatever. I mean, a pair of tights and a long shirt, whatever you come out with. So it don't really have to take you that long to get ready. Granted, y'all women do look fantastic when y'all do take your time and get ready. But half the time y'all getting ready, y'all either texting, playing music, singing in the mirror. So it shouldn't have to take you that long just to get ready. Wait, there's more. And my thing is, why, why are men so pressed to meet with women so quickly? If you're dating, if you're looking for commitment and trying to date someone to get to know them, wouldn't it make sense to try to like, you know, you guys can talk FaceTime virtually, talk over the phone before you think, damn, do I want to show up on a date and spend money? FaceTiming someone is not the same as meeting someone in person. You kind of know how the person looks, but it's not the same. And let's say you don't want to spend money. Well, maybe you guys are trying to do coffee dates because you don't want to spend money. Or maybe it's because they don't want to waste their money. Because technically, if you're so pressed to meet with a woman, you're probably trying to keep this budget where you're doing a bunch of coffee dates. When in reality, you need to take your time and just get to know a woman and plan for a legitimate dinner date. I would do it again. I would. I really like you. I like you too, Cassie. I like you more. Ew. <coughs> I just had a TikTok come onto my For You page that was completely trashing going for coffee on a first date. And this isn't the first one I've seen. And the comments literally blew my mind. So I'm curious, would you grab coffee on a first date with someone? Personally, I love the idea. I love coffee. I love people watching. I think it's more intimate. You can hear the person better it's not overstimulating like a bar is and if the date doesn't go well it's just like a f hour 45 minutes plus i am very much a daytime person i think sometimes people just want to feel good yeah so like for instance like a like you use the example of using a man to go out to eat you know you're not gonna fuck him or whatever the case may be wait that's Some people may do. say, oh, you're using him, but he is feeling you in the experience and he has hopes and aspirations of f***ing you. So yes. at that point, he's still getting something in return. What? And that's why so many Western women are single. Yo, she got game. But see, with a person like me, you can't pull that over on me because I'm not falling for the uh, banana in the tailpipe, so to say. First date, I mean, we not going to no dinner. We don't have to go for coffee, but I'm going to get to know you. I'm going to see how you is. One thing somebody once told me, when you first meet somebody, they got their own representative, they self. If you give them enough time and enough rope, they end up hanging themselves, and you can find out the hidden agenda. So I don't never be too much in a rush to date somebody. I want to get to know you and see your personality first before I bring you around me or anybody in my family. But she's a good finesse. If you want somebody just to take you on dates and go hang out, take yourself on a date. You don't need a man for that and vice versa. Agree. Is it fair to use his hope to have sex? In order to get yes. that date. Yes. Why? Yo, that was kind of crazy. But I'm starting to see why a lot of people are single nowadays. Because they don't feel like going through the game. They don't feel like having to deal with certain situations when it comes to getting to know somebody. So I see why a lot of women say this and maybe it might be some truth to it. I don't know, but this is what they say. They don't want to take the time to get to know someone else, so they rather deal with the same situation they've been dealing with. Me, uh, I'm not with that. 
You only get one time with me and you out the door. I don't play all that, but I would love to know what my followers think. I would love to know what new people think. So if you got a thought on this and you like the video, drop a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on it. Give me a like. Subscribe to my channel. I'll highlight you in the next video. Peace. I, I, I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they want to go eat, then you know I'm going to feed.